my Bella magazine. You're in Williamsburg. And this is my magical table of jewelry. And these are my friends. Hey, everybody, wave to wave to Bella magazine. And yeah, this is beautiful Williamsburg. Oh, uh, the table. We do stuff with old uh, coins and and uh, uh, these are hundred-year-old pennies and real buffalo nickels and there's old transportation tokens and these are even these are even uh, 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 peep show tokens from the naughty days of Times Square. Some of these are even in Barney sometimes. I don't know. New York's changing. So anyway, yeah, that's us. That's me, King Coyote Jewelry. That's all of us. I'm King Coyote, but we're all King Coyote in, in our hearts. But if you want to see Williamsburg, come on. Nice trees. That's a good thing what Mayor Bloomberg did. He put in trees. You've got to give him credit for that. They were changed a lot. The book vendors are always good and cheap. We have a wide variety of folks here. This is the queen of Williamsburg. The, say hi to Bella Magazine, the Queen of Williamsburg. You can look her up online, the Queen of Williamsburg. It's a real thing. She's been in two movies. It's true. Bye, Your Highness. See you later. And this place, Bliss, Bliss Bakery and Cafe, that's a super cool place. It's all vegetarian and vegan and organic, and they're very nice. And they chug trees. That's good. There's an art guy over there. Old art prints. And Usually the street's filled with vendors. That's always good. Usually this whole street is filled with vendors. On the weekends especially. And even on into the night. Sometimes on the weekends. And here on North 6, we just passed North 7th obviously. On North 6th, if you go all the way down to the water, over there on Saturdays and Sundays, you can go to the Brooklyn, uh, the Smorgasbord and the Brooklyn Flea, which is great. There's antiques and all kinds of things you can find. New York Muffins, their favorite. Really nice, friendly neighborhood. In New York, you can cross on the red, as long as you don't get hit. And California, they'll, in California, they give you a ticket. In New York, they give you a medal if you make it across the street. <laughs> And uh, here, this is Brooklyn Fox. This is one of the favorite places in town, a local one. Let's go in. This is Bella Magazine. They're from England. I just, you guys are famous, and I just thought I'd introduce you. Do you want to show them around your store? Uh, sure. Bella Magazine? I can show you around. Yeah, there's all great fall stuff. More casual rack. Um, behind you is a little black and white story. Some really lovely leather dresses. Cool. And some great prints in the front. Nice. Brilliant. Hey, cool. Thank you so yeah, much. No problem. Another vendor, Sweet Picks Bohemia, New York. Gotta love that. This is a fun little shop. Hi. Bella Magazine, London. London, right? Bella Magazine. Just showing them the neighborhood. Nice. Wow, that's really cool. That's it. Meet the auto. Thai Thai has got a great, inexpensive, really tasty Thai food and cheap beer. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull is awesome. Nice, good quality food. Friendly staff. Wild Ginger is all vegan and awesome. That's a great restaurant. Oh, this place is fun. Ugly Luggage. Antique shop. Would you guys like uh, Bella Magazine from London to come in and take a look? Sure. Bella Magazine, come on in. The ugly Luggage. All kinds of cool antiques and stuff you'll always find here. Are these magnets? They're not very magnetic anymore, but they look great. Old camera. Love this song. Vintage typewriter. Wow, cool. This is the old style laptop. Hey, maybe we could use that in the office. Yeah. Instead of my laptop, which is broken. You always find good stuff here. Look at that. World's Fair. That's New York. 
I have a token of that. What is, how old is that? It must be like... 1939, right? Wow, yeah. 1939 World's Fair. Wait, that's some great stuff. Where else will you find that? Look! It's the Eiffel Tower. Is. But are you European? Yeah. You want to see America? Hey, thanks. Okay. Cheers. And beer of meat. You gotta see beer of meat. Oh, and there's a bar every 20 feet. So that's good. There's, there's, there's another meat. like, this <clears throat> another pinky Otto. Is that like a chain? Oh, yeah. Well, it's local, but I, uh, I think it's just a local chain. It's mm -hmm. like beer of meat. Beer of meat. Oh, right, great, yeah. Great flick. you guys like Bella Magazine from London to come in video a little? It's a magazine from London? Yeah. I'm just showing you this cool place. You could tell Bella Magazine from London about your place. Anybody want to take it? Show them around. Magazine. Show them stuff. Welcome them to Verami. Today we are celebrating National Cheeseburger Day. <laughs> a wonderful 30% off sale on all of our jewelry items. Show them some. They do the coolest things. Oh well, thing. so that's what the uh, balloons are for. National Day of Cheeseburgers. Oh, it's very important. American <laughs> holiday. Um, here's one of our signature pieces. This is the hand in oxidized silver. Mm. Beautiful. Modeled after James Dean's hand. Wow, cool. Is that like from the Walk of Fame? In uh, Hollywood or something like that? Maybe, oh, oh maybe, you mean, maybe you mean not. from the uh, imprint? <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. She probably looked at, our designer probably looked at an image and was like, I'm going to shape it like this. Over here you have some of our signature animal rings, many variations on dogs. We have pugs, French bulldogs, chihuahuas. Cool. So these are all ma like handmade, like mm -hmm. locally? Yeah, they're all made in Manhattan. Um, it's all designed by one designer. Her name's Vera Valliera. Cool. Brilliant. Hey guys, thanks so much. Cool. Best of luck. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, and you have another store too, right? In East Village. That's our flagship store. Right. That, the East Village is just across the L train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I came down. Let's see. Oh, and a few more shops there. The Internet Garage, uh -huh. Area Kids. The whole, all of Williamsburg has great little yeah, places. Yeah, it's got a really side. good feel to it. Oh, over there, these places. Juliet, rooftop place, that's always fun. That's French food. Bay Leaf is great Indian cuisine. And right next to that, that little hidden corner there, uh -huh. that's egg. Great breakfast. They have a local, their own local farm, and they have their, their own farm-grown products upstate, if I'm not mistaken, I think. <laughs> Sidewalk Cafe, Fabian's, that's a great place. They make their own fresh pastries there. This is the mall, the little uh -huh. mini mall. This is awesome. So, this guy had some dance at some little candy shop. Hey, had some dance. Do you mind if Bella Magazine from London comes in and looks around? Hands some dance. There's this cool logo. Look, candy. Wine gums? Is that legal? <laughs> I'll look. Gummy worms, clownfish, pets. Every kind of juve you can imagine. Woof woof. This is a, a New York flood survival kit right here. Salted sailor. Is any of the um any of the sweets like locally made? Is it huh? Everything over here is the Oh, wow. So what, what are these salted oh, sailors? Are they like, um, is that like a, a little biscuit with a soft you center? You want to tell them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's basically like these homemade marshmallows between these little graham crackers and it's got a chocolate flavor, too. Cool. It's also got some of the chocolate bars from Mass Brothers, um, and they're actually located in Williamsburg, mm -hmm. I believe. So it's like a local chocolatier that have got their own little factory down here? Yeah, cool. yeah, absolutely. These are supposed to be really good. I haven't tried these yet, but the new chocolates are supposed to be really no. good as well. There is one, but your hands Brilliant. Like Hi, yeah. cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely try them out while you're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Great. Okay. Oh, wait, look. You have to see this. There's little hipster mustaches. Oh, wait. The 3D's really good in here. I don't like that hipster meme. We'll talk about that later. They did the same thing to punk rockers and new wavers and hippies and beatniks. Yeah. It's just a, I think, I think a term regurgitated by a shallow-minded media. Whoops, sorry. It's okay, we're not shallow. 
Bye, handsome yeah. Dan. Hey, thanks, this guys. This is handsome Dan, but he sure is handsome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. magazine from London comes in, looks around. Yeah. Thermoses, purses, scarves, LP records. I love that LP records are still popular. It, doesn't, it makes me feel not so old after all. He's Native American. Robbie Robertson, yeah. yeah. See, not all Native Americans look a certain type. They, they look different. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, beautiful. Do you mind if a magazine from London comes in and looks around? Bella Magazine? Yeah? Bella Magazine in London? You want to show them around? <laughs> this is this. Clothing and a great hair salon. Wow, this is really cool. That was hello beautiful. That's it. Oh, this place is awesome. It's all a matter of electronic. You want to do the tour? Uh, sure. We are pretty low on inventory right now, but um, we got some high-end audio gear here. We got some cheaper turntables over there. Um, these are boom cases. They're all one of a kind. They got car stereos and lithium batteries in them. Um, they're pretty amazing and loud. Very possible project products, which is the new Polaroid company. They're making the film very popular. Mm -hmm. Got a big headphone selection there. Um, skull candy. Got some skull candy. Yeah. I don't see Dr. Dre there. No, we do not care the beats. <laughs> no, no, no. No disrespect, but uh, we try and you know here. We try and carry stuff that you can't find everywhere else. Remember pencils? <laughs> Film, remember that stuff? The mind. Wow, I remember that. Yeah, me Life too. Science Library. Just so your fish can enjoy stereo <laughs> from the 60s. Hey, thanks a lot. That's just, just way too pleasant to not show. I like to call this a punk rock cafe. Bird Cafe. That's a fun place. What's up? Let's go. Spoon Bullock, Spoon Bill, and Sugartown books. Love that. Yeah, this is one of my favorite bookstores. If not my favorite, I just come here and soak it in sometimes. So what do they specialize in? It looks like a lot of music and art and... Music and art, um, literary criticism, a lot of odd, uh, random mysticism, cases of uh, books on, on spirituality. Ah, uh -huh, I see the Lovecraft up there. Magic, yeah. Bit of Brian Eno, that's good to see. Well, yeah, it's, yeah. it's new and used. Great, great selection about our boy. There's hey. David Bowie. Get better, David. I saw the I saw a show in the uh, at the V and A in oh. London. Oh, did you? That's wow. the um, catalog from the show. Tosh and Books. They have a great place over in Soho. They're always great. I love this book. Oh, yeah? I, have, yeah. I own this. For some more restaurants, there's a great place down the street called uh, Maison Premier, which they and they, they reproduced. Uh, you know what, I'll take you down there. Sure. Oh, you gotta see this place. Oh wait, here too. Oh, I think this is men's. Oh wait. Are you men's clothing? Yes. Men's clothing. More a women's magazine. I don't know, some women like men's clothes. <laughs> Maybe they like this place too. Or did. 
people even throw away good things. That is, that is very cool. Yeah, it really is. I think, I don't know if that would fit onto my carry-on luggage. I could always oh, try. Oh, whisk is great. That's all kitchen stuff. Cool. Everything kitchen -y. This is our local pharmacy that we all love. That's a real New York pharmacy. And it's right across from... Chic Avenue. Which was very odd. We thought it was a bit, uh, a bit mercenary that Dwayne Reed would go right across the street. But everybody loves the King's Pharmacy anyway. Local graffiti art everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Gotta love these guys. Green Mountain Energy. Gotta love the Green Mountain Energy guys. Okay. They'll help you go so, uh, win power for you. Cool, guys. Nice one. I love the Green Mountain Energy guys. Wow. This yeah. This is our state. Anywhere you walk on the little side streets, you'll see. There's great taco trucks here, too. A lot of great food trucks. I should have showed you the city bikes. They're everywhere. I'm on, I've, um, I joined that system this morning. I was uh, cycling around Manhattan. Too bad it's an evil bank though. <laughs> yeah, the one percent. I wish it was like the American Teachers Association bicycles. <laughs> then I'd gladly ride them all the time. This used to be a great graffiti spot, but they've been combating it. So why here and not the other sites where they're doing graffiti? Uh, um. It's hard to say. Williamsburg is in flux right now. There, it used to be graffiti art. I consider it all art. Even the tagging, I consider it art. But some people don't. They try to cover it up. But there's little spots where they don't mind it. Some stores and properties even encourage the graffiti. And it's funny. It's ending up in museums and private collections. We're heading south on Williamsburg right South, now. okay. Oh shoot, I think that was just the owner of this place. This is one of my favorite places in all of Williamsburg. It's Maison Premier. Is that not open yet? No, I don't think they're open. We're just getting set up. But all the, it's, they perfectly reproduced a, a, a New Orleans absinthe bar from the 1890s. And the, the entire staff is impeccably dressed and period perfect, and they're like alchemists with their martinis wow. or, and their cocktails, rather, uh, uh, and they specialize in absinthe cocktails. So when it says bar oyster, it doesn't mean literally. It's just it like does, it is an oyster bar. It's uh -huh. a great oyster bar. They even have dollar oysters on a certain night, but they're they're great, and it's a great mix uh, of the clientele is a great mix of people. I met like hip hop stars and local artists and just local working people. I met the Prince of Monaco here. Oh wait, maybe I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry Prince, but awesome place. Black Brick, local cafe. That's good coffee. Good. Really good coffee. Videology transformed from a video store, just a video store, still a video store, into a combination like video and movie place and bar. Oh wow! Like so a like women's magazine from uh, London. All right. Hey, nice to meet you. You mind them coming around? Sure, I don't care. Okay. Might as well come in and see it. Yeah. See. Right, so it's like a they cinema. Have TV night every Sunday night, and there it's so fun to watch movies. We were watching Game of Thrones and. Uh, uh, Mad Men back to back, and the crowd is completely into it. It's like having a, a huge extended drunk family to watch <laughs> TV with. It's great. Fresh popcorn. This is a magazine from London, Bella Magazine. Okay, okay. So, Thanks. And then, uh, so this is the viewing room. Wow. So everybody sits here with your beers and they let you bring in food from outside the store and then you watch TV on Sunday night and sometimes it just... Brilliant. That is such a cool idea. Great. So it's like a real kind of family kind of thing. Yeah. And you can still rent videos here. Oh yeah. Thank you. And it just keeps going like that all the way in the south. Williamsburg, there's the other side of the bridge, there's Peter Luger and a whole lot of like little flyers. Vanessa's yeah, Dumpling House is amazing. They have one in Chinatown. You can go here. I often come here before TV night, go in there and have beer. But you will get 
a huge meal stuffed for seriously five or six dollars. Wow, yeah. He goes on. Well, that's quite a tour. Yeah, I just started uh, performing, doing uh, performance art right at my street sales booth where I created this character, King Coyote, who is, he's kind of a self-made shaman, but, uh, and a charlatan, and <laughs> kind of a joker. And doing... Yeah, there's always going to be that element of, of a little bit of deceit and deception and sort of going on with, with the trickster, isn't there? When it comes to magic and religion, sure. But a medicine man I met said, uh, Say, said all, all, uh, all spirituality, all spirituality is, uh, and and religions are filled with magic, beauty, and bullshit. <laughs> Have you read um, *Tricks to Makes the World* by Lewis Hyde? No. If you if you're interested in that in the in that kind of archetype, that's a really it's a really good compendium of a whole lot of different stories and myths. Okay, I, I will read it. But I started performing at my table uh, in Soho, and I would wear these butterfly wings, and this top hat, and do bad magic tricks, bad card tricks. Uh, and just started because I'm not a magician, I'm not a sleight of hand artist. I admire it. I think it's amazing, but I can't do it. So I, I just started doing kind of slapstick, you know. Uh, Drunk magic. Well, I wasn't drunk. Not always. But, um, and uh, so, uh, as I developed that idea, friends said, "Hey, you should come to Art Basel Miami and do this." So I did, and I went to Art Basel Miami, and I got in 13 art magazines, uh, five television shows, seven fashion blogs, and and uh, and then I just started building the character from there. And uh, uh, now I'm creating a little television show. Cool. What, like but, online? Um, for now, I've just I, somebody from uh, Comedy Central saw me performing, mm -hmm. and it wasn't anybody high up, but she just said, you know, you should videotape this, stop performing it on the street, do a little clip, and then she said she'd get me a meeting. And there's all kinds of creatives like that all over New York, and a lot of the economy faltering actually had a really interesting effect because it made us get creative, it made us, drove a lot of artists that were trying, to, waiting for years to get into galleries to just finally just say, you know what, I'm going to go on the street and and uh, sell my art. And, and I've, I've got to point out, like, uh, selling my art and my jewelry in the street has been more successful than the museums I've worked for, waiting for gallery shows, even selling my paintings for higher prices at one time, street art has been better to me than all of that. Yeah. I, th I, I wish, I hope New York loosens up more about it in other cities throughout the world because it's a, it's a huge vital part of the economy that incubates um, larger businesses, but also just allows people to be creative on their, on their own and, and be in control of their own, uh, their own lives and their own creativity. It's a, it, it, street vending can be really, really beautiful if you do it right. And um, I would invite anybody to come. When you come to New York, you don't don't just go into the stores. The stores are great, but what the, the life on the street from even the poorest street performers and even the panhandlers, they have a whole life of their own. Not that I always approve of, of begging or whatever, but even those people are beautiful and have their own stories yeah. and have their own survival and their own ambitions and their own you know humor and story to tell and there's all the other vendors and artists and, and t-shirt makers and, and graffiti artists uh, that's graffiti in quotes not artists in quotes because I think they're all artists there's artists everywhere heck people at a donut shop can be artists <laughs> just about I love. Yeah, and about having fun. Yeah. Hey man, hey, it's been really great. Thanks so much. Likewise. It's been brilliant. <laughs>